Shares of Alphabet getting a boost following Google's announcement of its latest artificial intelligence model called Gemini. Here with the very latest details is Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley. Dan. That's right, Josh. This is a new kind of uh, platform that Alphabet Google is launching. This is the basic uh, foundation of what they're going to be putting into their products moving forward. So Gemini is going to be available in three different versions. One is a nano version, one is kind of a base version, and one is a full-on uh, data center version. This is going to be powering everything from uh, eventually search to uh, the experience on smartphones to YouTube, you name it, this is going to be where Google is going to be powering a, a lot of its platforms. And it's a very big deal because this is something that the company has been working on for some time. They had discussed it previously uh, at its Google I.O. conference. There were reports that it wasn't going to be able to roll out Gemini until next year, but clearly that's not the case. Uh, and there's been some interesting demonstrations that they've shown. For instance, uh, they fed the AI uh, video uh, of a uh, demonstrator drawing a picture of a duck and the AI was able to view the duck and recognize that it was actually a duck and then the pre uh, presenter colored it in blue. Uh, the AI recognized that it was colored blue and said most ducks aren't blue. Uh, and then he pulled out a uh, rubber duck and the AI recognized that that was a rubber duck that was blue and said some ducks can be blue, I guess, and it kind of went on from there. It's also able to do things like, uh, uh, for instance, with parents, if there are, uh, they're working on the uh, homework with their students, uh, it was able to look at the homework answers, handwritten answers, uh, recognize which ones were right and which ones were wrong, and then explain where the ones that were wrong went wrong. So, so it's really powerful. This is what's called natively multimodal, meaning it, uh, rather than stitching together a, a type of the model for text or audio or video or photos, it's built for those modes from the ground up. And so Google says that this is going to make it much more powerful than a stitched together version. So basically they're, they're kind of using this uh, as a means of showing, look, we came up with the transformer technology. We're, we're the ones who helped develop it. Uh, we're not going to be left behind. This is the, the state of the state of the art, uh, and, and we're going to put this into our products full steam ahead. And so, Dan, as you mentioned, listen, big moment here um, for Google. Let's also pull back the lens, though, and just talk about, you know, what this means for the kind of the greater AI arms race we're seeing here. You know, how does this product, Dan, in your opinion, how does it stack up to Microsoft, to OpenAI? Yeah, I mean, this is a direct competitor to OpenAI's uh, GPT-4. Uh, that's their, their you know, high-end uh, uh, model that they have right now. And Microsoft uses GPT-4 in some of its uh, own offering. So really, this is a strike at both OpenAI and Microsoft. Uh, I mean, any strike at OpenAI is going to directly impact Microsoft as well. So, you know, it's kind of six to one and a half dozen the other, which one they say they want to target. But uh, I digress. I think this is mostly uh, a ability for Google to, to like I said, say, we're, we're not going to be left behind. Uh, OpenAI may be huge. They may be getting all of the play still because I mean, look, ChatGPT blew all of this up. Um, and so they're seen as the, the kind of first movers here as far as commercializing this at least. Uh, but Google doesn't want to be uh, kind of sidelined. So, you know, right now, uh, this new Gemini product is going to be available uh, in some of Google's smartphones, the, the Pixel 8 Pro, uh, as well as the version of a version of its Bard chatbot. Eventually, it's going to be in its search generative experience, which is basically a version of Google search with generative AI built in. Uh, standard Google search uh, is likely to come later. Uh, but, you know, Microsoft already has its standard search as uh, offering generative AI. So Google's still not necessarily there yet. They, they are clearly taking it uh, a little bit slower because search is the most important part of its business. So they don't want to mess it up at all by adding something that might not be ready for prime time.